Empowering the judiciary is one key reform that lawyers no doubt look forward to. But what's the situation at the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, especially with registering businesses in the country? I think um, the Vice President is doing a wonderful job in Nigeria to see that um, the foreign investors come to this country and invest and then so that they can be able to recoup their capital in Nigeria. Um, he's doing a wonderful job, but I think the area of improvement, uh, we have to look at um, a Corporate Affairs Commission um, so that uh, they can be able to um, update their system. In a situation where you want to register a company, it takes you several days, you go for availabilities, and then after that to register a company. And if something happened recently, I registered a company for one of my friends in, um, in Dubai. He wanted to register a company in Nigeria. And unfortunately, we discovered after the, regist after the company was registered, um, a month later, I was called upon to bring the certificate that, in fact, as a name registered, this, that's a similar name like that that was already registered. So I was asked to bring my certificate of incorporation that the, the commission is going to bond uh, whatever expenses it's going to uh, take to register the second name. So they suggested several names to me, which I eventually pick one. So this thing is discourage foreign investors to come into the country because um, you, when you register a company, the next thing for you is just to set up and then uh, and start immediately. The policy is there, the regulation is there. Uh, going to the airport, for instance, uh, things have changed. I mean, you don't have to go through a whole lot of tables to be able to check in as a passenger. So that must be, we must commend them for that. However, with respect to places like CAC, uh, there's been improvement in the documentation processes in terms of what you need to file. But as we still have too much uh, waiting time for approvals and documentation to come out. And there's still a bit of a problem when you apply for documents to get certified copies. Uh, most times you still get the CAC saying, oh, they cannot access the file, they are not aware of this documentation. Uh, but they couch their language in such a manner as to say, look, we are not saying the company does not exist or this document is, does not exist, but we just can't access it. We need further information to be able to access it. For me, this is, this is wrong. Um, the ease of business, doing business, not about just putting the paperwork together. The human element has to be taken into consideration. The infrastructure, I expect that by now, the CAC's uh, online uh, platform should not only be working well, but should be working at all times. Uh, the, the ability to retrieve uh, documents from the archives uh, should also be improved so that we, we don't have this waiting time and those kind of responses that does not tally well with carrying out your business with them. So I think overall, if you're on a scale of 1 to 10, you want to score them maybe 4, uh, which is still not good. The most important reform I've seen is they have linked the stamp duties to the same platform. Unlike before, even after you have done your papers, you have to go to somewhere else to pay your stamp duties and it takes days before you get it back. So today, if you have all your information, all your documents ready, you can register a company within 24 hours. Personally, I've submitted and I've gotten my certificate within 24 hours. So that's a lot of improvement. However, however, I believe the capacity of their website, because they have too much of downtown, most often you can't log in or midway there's issues. In fact, sometimes for this, we can't transact business. So they need to improve in that respect. Uh, also, in dealing with queries, if you don't have queries, no problem. I've enjoyed, like I said, that promise of 24 hours, I've done several. For reservation of name, unlike before that you have to make two, three visits, I've done several within 24 hours. As far as CAC is concerned, I've seen a lot of improvement done already. But like I said, the capacity of the website and dealing with complaints, when you have query, query should be there with, within the same 24 hours. As far as the court is concerned and federal court, there's a lot to be done. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, I've not seen any improvement as far as I'm concerned. Yes, the TSA, but they still make you to go and pay somewhere else, come back for verification. Why must I come for to the federal court before I pay? Why can't I assess myself online? This is giving us headache and it's translating to people having confidence in the judiciary. If the, there is free access to court, lawyer will charge less. 
But as a lawyer, I love litigation, but I always discourage my client from going to court. Let me try and settle it for you in the interest of the client because I know what it takes right from the registry. So if they can transfer the same reform they have done in CAC to the Federal High Court, whereby we can assess ourselves. That's a template for everything. The writ of summary is 250 you see this. CAC has it now. Just go online, you pick all the things and you know the total amount of it and you pay with your debit card and it's done. So if you can do the same thing in CAC, then of course, there can be ease of doing business. Lagos is the financial snap set of this country. We don't have enough judges. We can say what we want to say about our judges, but the truth of the matter is they are overburdened. It's criminal for a judge to have 24 matters listed for a day. How do you expect that same judge to write rulings? How do you expect that judge to read each of those files before coming to the courtroom in the morning? It's practically impossible. Secondly, it's only in this country I know trials are not done day to day. Why should you postpone trials? People keep talking about criminal cases involving big people. But why do we postpone trials? In other countries where they have the jury system, because the jury will even leave their job to come, that's why you can postpone the trial. So the biggest reform the, the VP can do, he understands this better than I do, is our senior, is to make sure that's a general reform where trial is day to day. If you have three witnesses, I don't want to mention names. We know some judges here in the federal court that they tell you bring all your witnesses. It must be one day trial, two days trial. If I have three witnesses, why should I take them in peace me? Why, how will the judge remember the demeanor of the witness when he's writing the ruling when the, the trial is staggered over six months? And the same judge is dealing with about 500 files. We are deceiving ourselves. There is little, little thing we can do to is business. Business people will not come to Nigeria when they know our justice system is not functioning. We get referrals from several clients all over the world and the first question they ask us is if there is dispute because once you are doing business there must be dispute. How is Nigeria judicial system? How fast can we get things sorted? And the truth of the matter is you need a minimum of three years. Thank you.